But what's up YouTube? Handy Designs here. Um, we're just kicking out your my very first tutorial. And we're just going to be doing a lot of tutorials and speed arts and contests and all the good stuff, you know. Um, what we're going to be doing on this channel is we're going to be hooking you guys up as much as we can. We're going to promote you. We're going to promote us. We're going to have contests and you guys can win things. You know, just make it fun for everyone. Uh, but let's get started with this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be doing um, what the most common thing is, is people always ask, hey, how do you get a picture from Photoshop into Cinema 4D? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my logo, as you can see here, the HD. But we're going to... Uh, we're going to take this logo and we're going to put it into Cinema 4D the way I did it. Because I actually drew it on a piece of paper, then put it on here, scanned it on here, and copied it in Photoshop. And then put it in Cinema 4D, and then I created what you're seeing right now. So, let's get started with that. Uh, first, what you're going to do is you're going to import your, your image, obviously. Then you're going to go over to your pen tool, click on that and you're gonna start copying basically the outline of your whatever you have up here you know your drawing or whatever you got and you just click each little dot a line and when uh, you get to the point like when you're starting to do these angles here when you click on it don't let off the button keep it clicked and drag and get your angle of what you want right there like that and then let go and then go back to the home one that you you clicked hit alt and click it and then you can go on to your next one once again don't let off clicking keep it clicked drag until you get the angle you want let go go to the home one hit alt click and so on so forth basically what you're going to do is you're going to keep going all the way around you know on the outside on the outline get your outline to where you want it, to what you got, and then what you're going to do is it's going to end up looking like this. The reason I did this ahead of time is because to get it perfect, it takes forever. But you're going to want to do that. A lot of people use the magic wand. Um, I have a problem with the magic wand because, I mean, look, if you use the magic wand, you click on it, you get all this extra crap in here, and you never get perfect lines and I'm kind of anal like that and I want all the lines to be perfect but anyways back to the other one so once you're done copying everything you, you have this and with this you're gonna go over here and you're gonna look in here pass and you should have something that looks like this once you have that you go up to file export Pass the Illustrator, click on that. And guys, you don't need Illustrator to do this, so don't worry about that. You don't need it. And then uh, Work Path, just hit OK. It's going to come up. Pick where you want to save it. I'm just going to save mine to Desktop. Layer 0, we'll just leave it that. Save, sorry there, so yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Cinema 4D. And then you hit File open go to your desktop grab the layer open it and with the scale you want to leave it as one connect splines leave that clicked and hit OK and then there you go you have your your little drawing that you you copied then what you're gonna have up here is you're gonna have your layers and there's gonna it's gonna be two paths in there now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take these paths out of the layer so just highlight them and drag them down and then you can just get rid of this layer and now you got your two paths now to make them 3d all you have to do is you go up to this fancy little guy right here click and hold and go to extrude nerves now because you have two paths you're going to need two extrude nerves so go ahead and do it again grab one path drag it in as a child of the extrude nerve of the first one Take the next one, drag it into the second one, and there you go. You got 3D, buddy. And uh, now you just go ahead and you start playing with what you want. Let's go to the first one here. Like, you know, 
I don't like the depth of it. I want it a little, a little deeper. So you click on the extrude nerves, you come down here, and then the movement where it says 20 here, you can set it to whatever, you know, whatever you want. We'll just set it to 50 right now. And then go to the next one, same thing. Set it to 50, and then there you go. You got yourself a 3D picture. And, uh, I mean, because I did it kind of quick, it kind of looks like junk. But you got, you got that. Kind of make it a little bit better. You go to caps here. Go to caps, fillet cap. What you're doing is giving a little bit of a beveled edge. And what I like to do is I like to bring up the step so that it smooths it out more. Make it five. And then to do the back side, you do the same thing on this one. Bring it up to five. And then when you go over to this one, same thing. Fillet caps. Bring it up to five. Back side. Fillet cap. Bring it up to five. Now what you got is you get a nice smooth edge. You see how nice and smooth that is? It just makes it look so much better. And then, you know, you can go down here, create new material. Um, I don't know. Let's let's just do a blue. We got the blue there. Now, I'm not gonna do anything fancy with the colors or anything. That's for a later tutorial. Just drag it up right up there. And both of them, boom. Now you got your blue. It's a little gaudy and ugly. But it'll work for now. You know, you got your blues on the extrude nerves, your pass. Render this out. And there you go. You got yourself a 3D from your drawing, from something you got off the internet, whatever. You just make it a cool 3D picture. And I hope this helped you. And if you could just like, subscribe, and favorite, you know, all the good stuff. But uh, stay tuned because uh, we're going to be doing a lot more contests and stuff. And, and we're going to get this going and help the graphics community because it's a very, very cool guys out there doing some really cool stuff guys and they just they don't get noticed on YouTube whatsoever and I think they they need to get their props so yeah uh thanks for watching and have a good one